Welcome to the Z Learning video for the alignment of a free flight rapier machine. Warning: Read and fully understand the operator's maintenance and safety manuals before using or servicing this machine. Failure to follow operating maintenance or safety instructions could result in serious injury. Place the gauge to check the alignment in the slide. The position of the rapier wheel should be checked each time the rapier is mounted. Place the rapier wheel back on the machine by using the holding clamp. Don't tighten the bolt so the rapier wheel can move freely. Check the alignment at four places on the rapier wheel. 0 degrees 90 degrees 180 degrees and 270 degrees. Make sure that the rapier wheel is moving in the center of the gauge. If this would not be the case you will have to set the rapier wheel position again. Press the center of the rapier wheel towards the front of the machine while doing the alignment check. Remove the rapier wheel and fit it on top of the harness guides to loosen the bolts on the tightening flanges more easily. Now you can loosen all the bolts at the back of the rapier wheel. After this you can remove the rapier wheel from the clamping piece. Here you can find the spacers to adjust the rapier wheel position. Always place minimum one spacer at the back of the rapier wheel. Don't place the bolt straight on the copper inlets. Place or remove spacers if needed to make sure the rapier wheel is placed in the center of the gauge, and place the clamping piece back. Now hand tighten the bolts. Do this crosswise so you don't damage the thread. Now you can torque the bolts again, do this crosswise. First a 10 newton meter and then the second time with a value of 16 newton meter. Place the rapier wheel back on the machine as done before and do the alignment check over again. Don't tighten the bolt so the rapier wheel can move freely. If the alignment is okay you can go to the next step in the following e-learning chapter. Otherwise, repeat the procedure. Thank you for watching. Questions or remarks? Please contact us.